Hello, my name is Rob Birdwell. I teach marine inspections at Training Center in Yorktown. Today, we're going to talk about ring buoys. Some other synonyms that you'll find about ring buoys uh, in the regulations are life rings, life buoys, and lifesavers. These can be found on all types of vessels, from small recreation vessels to super tankers, too large to even fit into our ports. There are five characteristics common to all ring buoys, regardless of the vessels that they're installed on. The size and quantity. We need to check and make sure that the size of the ring buoys and the quantity of the ring buoys is applicable to the regulations uh, for that vessel. We need to make sure that these ring buoys are immediately available for use. If someone were to fall overboard, these ring buoys need to be deployed right away. They cannot be lashed down to the vessel or stowed away in a closet somewhere else. They need to be able to be used right away. The color and markings of the ring buoy. Again, refer to the uh, regulations to figure out if they're the right color, usually orange or white in color, and that they're marked appropriately with the name of the vessel and possibly even the port where they came from. Correctly outfitted with line and lights. If the ring buoy is required by regulation to have a line attached to it, 60 feet or 90 feet, you need to check that line and make sure it's the appropriate length and in good condition. If it's required to have a light attached to it, you need to check the light and make sure it's operational so it's ready to be used. The ring buoys are required to be approved and in serviceable condition. They are approved domestically for domestic vessels uh, in 46 CFR 160.050. We refer to that as subchapter Q of the CFR. Internationally, they can be approved by SOLAS. So what is approved and serviceable condition of a ring buoy? Let's go through the parts of a ring buoy and talk about each one. So what is serviceable condition of a ring buoy? We have to go to 46 CFR 160.050 to see how these ring buoys were manufactured and what conditions they have to meet to be in serviceable condition. The grab line is one of the first things that we look at on a ring buoy. The grab line is manufactured of a synthetic material and it has to have a, a breaking strength of a, a certain pounds per square inch. So when you inspect this grab line, you're inspecting the overall condition of it. You want to give it a little twist and take a look at the threads inside the, the grab line. If you look at this ring buoy here, as we give it a little twist, you can see that this grab line is coming apart, it's fraying apart. This no longer has the breaking strength that it was manufactured to. So this would not be in serviceable condition. This would be an example of a good grab line around a ring buoy. Ring buoys are designed to meet a certain minimum and maximum weight standard for each type of ring buoy. In order to check that, you need to physically handle the ring buoy. You need to pick the ring buoy up and see if it's been waterlogged uh, with water. Many ring buoys have, have a plug in the bottom of them where they were foam filled. If the plug comes out, that provides an opportunity for water to intrude inside of the ring buoy and collect in the bottom of the ring buoy. When you pick them up, they should be balanced. Balanced and, and they shouldn't be heavy. If you have defects inside the ring buoy, such as this one, that also provides an opportunity for water to get into the ring buoy and affect the, uh, the material inside and waterlog it, making it heavy and not effective. That would have to be taken out of service. When inspecting the ring buoy, you want to inspect the ring buoy for rips, tears, cracks, and the retroreflective material that's placed on the ring buoy to make sure it's all in serviceable condition. Any rips, tears, or cracks could provide an opportunity for water to get into the ring buoy, rendering it unserviceable. The retroreflective material that's on the ring buoy has to maintain its reflective properties. Over time, that can fade away. If that's the case, this material needs to be replaced with new Solus A-type reflective material. Any repairs that need to be made to the ring buoy? Repairs can be made as per manufacturer's recommendations. If the manufacturer has a repair kit that can be used for the ring buoy, then the ring buoy could be repaired using the manufacturer's recommendations. So in conclusion, when inspecting ring buoys on a vessel, refer to the applicable regulations or conventions for the type of vessel that you're on. Also, remember, 
physically handle these ring buoys. It's crucial that you pick the ring buoys up out of the brackets and inspect them front and back. Look for the rips, tears, cracks, handle the grab lines, take a look at the retroreflective material. Is it in good and serviceable condition? That's what we're asking ourselves.